Hello students, you all are welcome to this online learning platform. I am Shyam Panchal from Takshila Model Senior Secondary School. So students, today we are going to have a topic of composition, English composition. We are going to discuss important aspects of short story writing. So here we have short story writing that we are going to discuss today. What is story writing, first of all? Story writing is the narration of events. It is an art which requires a lot of practice. It also requires a sound knowledge of the language in which we are going to write a story. Story writing can either be short or long composition based on the type of story we are going to write. In today's lecture, we are going to have some important aspects of short story writing. As per the CBSC, we have short story writing in our syllabus. So, our short story writing is different from long story writing or the long composition. Short story writing is actually limited to about 120 to 150 words. In this limited number of words, using the limited number of words we just need to write down the story, and this is a story of ours, should exhibit all the important aspects of story writing. In this lecture, uh, we will discuss these important elements of story writing, theme, plot, setting, characters and mood. Apart from that, we'll also uh, take a look at the format of story writing. How can we write an effective and interesting story? We'll try to find out the answer to this question as well. The most important thing before we write the story, or before we sit down to write the story, is to have good communication skill, is to have sound knowledge of the language in which the story is to be written. And how can we have the sound knowledge of that language? We can have sound knowledge of that language by putting ourselves into practice a lot. Whether it be short composition or long composition, as I told you a moment ago, it requires a lot of practice. So, you just need to do what? You just need to grab a pen and a piece of paper and you should start writing whatever is going inside your mind. You just need to reflect your views on a piece of paper. This is how you just try to uh, utilize the words you have learned. Try to use the expressions, the phrases that you have learned. These phrases, these expressions and uh, these words which you have already learned, unless you just uh, practice them, they will not be helpful to you when you sit to write either a short or long composition, whether it be a letter writing or notice writing, uh, message writing uh, or your story writing. Right. So uh, overall we can say that writing is an art and it can be mastered by a lot of practice. So you should put yourselves into practice a lot. So students, now let us move on to these important elements of story writing. Uh, we'll discuss this format of, uh, format of story writing later. First of all, we should discuss these important elements. First of all, the theme of the story. Before we sit down to write a story, we should think about the theme. Theme means, theme is an idea uh, on which the entire story is based. Or it is uh, an idea which runs through the story. How will we come to know about this idea of the story? This idea uh, will be given to us in the story. In the question uh, for story writing, right? we just need to read the question carefully. And uh, what type of question are we given in the exam for story writing? There are uh, two ways in which the story writing question is asked to us. First, there is... Uh, First, there, is a, uh, there are a few hints given 
below the question. And uh, second is that uh, we are given an outline of our story. And uh, we are just asked to complete the story using the outline. Right? So there are two ways in which the question is asked. First one is that there are given a lot of hints, means uh, very incomplete sentences, very incomplete lines, uh, which are in the form of hints for the whole of the story. The second type of question is that there is an outline which is given to you and uh, using that outline you just need to write the story further. Right? So uh, when you just read either the outline or the hints given below the question, you just can figure out what kind of theme actually runs through this story, right? The story that you're going to write. So uh, the message or the idea that runs through the story must be maintained uh, from beginning till end of the story, right? So apart from theme, there comes the plot. What is plot? Plot means when uh, you write a story, you do what? you just write about the events in the story, right? There are a lot of events that come in the story. Events means the, uh, the situations or the happenings that actually took place in the story. So when you write about those happenings, these events or the happenings must be written in a perfect order, right? These happenings or these incidents must be written in uh, a chronological order, means in a perfect order. So this sequence of events is called plot. If we are just not following the sequence of events, what happens? The readers get confused or our story become totally baseless, meaningless, right? So we should pay special attention to plot of the story. Plot here means the events. For example, this happened first, this happened next, this happened next, this happened next means you just need to maintain a proper order while writing the events, right? So uh, the proper sequence of events is called plot, then there comes the setting of the story. What do you mean by the setting of the story? Setting here means the location or it is also the background of the story. Location means, for example, if I'm going to write a historical uh, event, it becomes a story, maybe I am telling you something about the great king Ashoka, right? So when I tell you about Ashoka, I must tell you about the place where he lived. I must tell you something about, uh, something more about the place where he lived. And uh, I can also tell you uh, about the uh, social or socio-economic background or socio-economic conditions of that time, right? So this is what, this is called the setting or this is called the background of the story, right? When we are telling, uh, when we are going to write a story about a very naughty boy or about, uh, or about a very greedy woman, right? Or about a very honest person. So when we are writing about that person, we must mention the place where he belonged to. And if there are some specialties to this place, if this place exists, I mean to say there are two types of stories, let me just tell you here. First one is a fiction, second one is a real story. Means an, an imaginary story or a real story. When there, is a, when there is a real story, you just need to pay proper attention to the setting of the story. But in case of writing an imaginary story, the setting of the story can also be, uh, can be overlooked, I think. Right? I mean, so setting should be paid proper attention to when we are going to write a story of uh, real world, of real importance right of real existence now uh, we have point number four characters so uh, when it comes to writing a story what happens uh, we write about people about animals or about other living creatures in the story so these animals these uh, human beings or these other living creatures are just called the characters of the story right so we must uh, make a good judgment of the characters while we sit down to write a story, right? We should uh, choose proper characters, the characters that uh, might be liked by people in the story. So characters is also an important point. Then uh, last point comes the mood. What is mood of the story? Mood here means the tone of the story or the tone of the uh, narrator. Narrator is a person who just tells the story through his own eyes. 
right so mood of the story here simply means that either the story can be written in a happy mood sad mood jolly mood right so this is called what mood if we are writing the story about the struggles made by a person this story actually follows what kind of mood a very sad mood right when we are writing about the achievements of a person right uh, what kind of mood is the story following the story is following a very jolly mood right so this is what this is called the mood we should also maintain the mood throughout the story one more point that i have not written is actually called pov pov what is pov pov means point of view point of view means the story that we are going to write is either written in first person point of view or third person point of view means either in first person point of view or third person point of view. getting my point either in first person point of view or third person point of view what is first person point of view most of the writers most of the authors today are following this point of view first person point of view when they are writing the uh, when they are writing the stories they mostly choose first person point of view that simply means that the author or the writer uh, himself becomes the narrator and uh, the story Uh, is written with the help of the pronoun i getting my point you must have read many novels using uh, uh, must have read many novels in which this first person pov is used right uh, for example if i'm going to write uh, the story uh, about my friend so what i say i when i was this years old i used to study in that class there was uh, one boy named this and he was my best friend i i uh, knew him since this 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 right so i am using what i am using first person point of view but the short stories that we uh, write as per our syllabus should be written in third person point of view third person point of view means once there was a time there lived a man he was very uh, he was very rich or he was very poor so here we are using which pronoun we are using he so he is the third person pronoun so uh, the story is that we are supposed to write uh, should be written in third person point of view but one more thing one uh, one more thing here if your question asks you to write the story in third person point of view you must write the story in third person point of view maybe the question that is given to you uh, it follows first person point of view then you should write your story in first person point of view right but mostly uh, the story short stories are especially mostly written in third person point of view but again you need to follow the question what the question says so students here we have discussed these six important elements of story writing means when we sit down to write a story we must follow these six important points right uh, i have observed uh, during my course of career uh, that teaching career that a lot of students just sit to write story but they make lot of mistakes while uh, making the plot of the story uh, they also uh, create lot of mistakes uh, while uh, they are they are, they create lot of grammatical mistake that is other thing i have already told you that they, in order to write a very good story very attractive story uh, you just need to do what you just need to have a good knowledge of the language you are writing right uh, that the, of the language that you are writing the story in right if you do not have a good knowledge sound knowledge of the language that you are writing the story in what will happen you will create lot of grammatical mistakes and sometimes these grammatical mistakes uh, just uh, do not lack the story have complete sense right or the sentences are totally meaningless so mostly students make mistakes during uh, uh while uh, having this point in mind means whenever they are just writing the plot of the story they create lot of mistakes right so this uh, point plot should be given proper attention to while writing a story 
means uh, you just need to do what I suggest you one thing whenever you sit down to write a story you just need to do what you just need to write few points first of all right you just need to think about the story you need to create the story in your mind uh, using either the outline or the hints given to you then you should do what uh, on a piece of paper or uh, at one side of the page where you are allowed to do the rough work you just need to write few points point number one point number two point number three means uh, this happened and this happened and this will happen then this will happen then this will happen and finally you think that at this point I will just complete the story one more thing seventh point is conclusion you must end your story with an emphatic conclusion conclusion of the story should be such that your story is fully complete it should give a message also is that clear so uh, before we sit down to write a story we should make a uh, few points uh, at one side right so that we just need to uh, take a look at those points and the uh, we, we will re we will write the story writing right now let us take a look at the format of the story writing here on the board I have written the format of the story writing first of all this is the margin of the paper you just need to write the title in the middle of the paper the title plays an important role right uh, the title is not given to you actually in the question you just need to frame the title based on the theme that runs through the story you just need to frame your title if your theme is honesty then you can make the title honesty is the best policy or an honest man right anything so based on the theme of the story we just need to frame a title of the story we just need to give the title of the story after we have written the title we just need to pay proper attention to the content uh, leave space and you should start writing the content and your content should comprise of what your content should comprise of theme you need to pay proper attention to theme means you need to maintain the theme throughout the story then you need to pay proper attention to plot setting and mode means these five points which we have discussed here you must uh, include these things in your story writing right uh, when you are writing the content of the story make sure uh, you should break your story into few paragraphs right it should not be so that the entire story should be written in a single para if you write entire story in a single para it will be so messed up that readers will be having lot of difficulty is difficulties in getting what you want to write right so you just need to do what you need to break your story into few paragraphs right and each para should have a proper uh, proper meaning right then there comes the last para the last para should be the concluding para the concluding para should be uh, so uh, should be such that it gives complete meaning or it ends the story with a complete message right means you must not end your story uh, with incomplete message or uh, you should not leave the story incomplete so this conclusion the last paragraph that you are going to write in your story must complete the story with a proper message and the final part that comes is the moral of the story means you have written the title you have written the content you have written the justified conclusion and then you are supposed to write the moral of the story the moral of the story means what have you learned from this story or what message does this story convey right <coughs> so your moral should consist of one sentence or two sentences or more right but not more than uh, three to four sentences right it should uh, simply be the summarization of the message that the story gives so uh, students with this uh, with the help of these points you can write a very good short story I hope so with this I come to an end uh, very soon I'll be back with a new chapter for you thank you very much